Okie dokie, hey guys. Uh, got another kit here to build. I've had this one for a little while, but I was a little bit scared about doing the, uh, the SMDs. But, as I very recently did a DSA 138 with SMDs on there, and didn't find it particularly, I mean it wasn't particularly easy, because these things are so small. I know I'm going to lose them, but uh, i get a battery in there. This is going to be fiddly. There's a load of LEDs. This is what it is, it's like a clock. And if I remember, yeah it has. This one's got a temperature gauge built in as well. So I'll get to see how much I freeze over Christmas. Great. Um, so yeah, this is this is what it is. It's a, uh, a clock with a battery backup, which is great. Um, four LED jobby. These ones are a lot easier to solder than those separate ones. I don't know what the chip is. It's an 18 mega, I think. Uh, sorry, 18 mega. What am I going on about? Atmel 889S52 24PC. 0510 if anybody knows the uh, the lowdown on that this board itself is a uh, ECI oh no sorry EC1 1204 BV1.2 so version 1.2 let's hope they're buying out the bugs on version 1 then. Um, LEDs, some headers, some electrolytic capacitors, some standoffs, uh, and momentary switch, USB. Yeah, there we go, just let's get it all up. Momentary switches, USB or mini USB, another momentary switch, some headers. Electrolytic, just one. Oh, we get a cable. Uh, not sure what that's for. Plugging in, obviously. Uh, but still, not sure what it's for. What you're going to plug a clock in for. There's a little, a little chip there, a crystal, a buzzer. A socket for a battery, a socket for a um, eight pin dip, and this one is a I don't know forty pin. One, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say twenty-four. Each side forty-eight. Oh, I don't know. I can't count it. Can I count it? I should. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so it's a, uh, well, it's 40 pins. Yeah, so. We're going to put this together. I will probably do time lapse on the soldering. Just to uh, speed things up a little bit. And we'll see if it works. Uh, <clears throat> because this is um, a lot of SMD, or well, not a lot, but the majority of the capacitors, all the capacitors bar one electrolytic and resistors, it's all MS, the, uh, SMDs. I would suggest that you use a container. And, you know, I'm not trying to teach the old players how to do anything this is just for like complete newbies like me because yesterday when I start, when I was doing a project um, a kit or the day before I lost one of these opening it up and it just 
<laughs> it was gone. <laughs> Just shut off. Uh, today, I did exactly the same thing. <laughs> I was really gently just trying to pull the plastic back and the, I don't know, somehow it managed to pull itself back, I had to like a bit of a, and I pulled it, bang, poof, and off it went. Fortunately, today's one I managed to find, um, I've got like a cream carpet and it was difficult and just as I sat down and started moving everything out of the way, again, I forgot, oh yeah, right there I don't even know if you can see it but right there believe it or not is a resistor it's a 47k resistor there you go these things are so small uh, it's great it's great once you're taking to your head or start adjusting your brain like I'm having to to keep an eye out for these and not forget that I can't just go like this on here anymore because if I've got any of these out it's a problem so I'm going to do all the 47 ohm resistors in one go so I've emptied them all from this strip into here with the other ones but they're all still in their little um, tapes in the tape and I'm going to do one one strip at a time and this is literally just so I can keep an eye on where these little tiny things are. Really, re really good idea. Maybe even an idea to put all the LEDs in and stuff. But these are big enough to see. You drop one of these on the carpet and you're going to see it straight away. You drop one of these on the carpet. And, you know, depending on what colour your carpet is. Like I say, mine's cream. And that can work for me. It can work against me. If it's sat upright and the dark side showing, I can see it. But if it's sat downwards and it's just the white side, the creamy white side, it's gone. It's just gone. And that's what happened with the one uh, yesterday or the day before. Vanished, lost it. Fortunately, they'd put enough, just a few extra of each in. Um, and so I was okay. Okay, let's start cracking on with this. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I'm just reading the uh, PDF so I've come with this. It's EC1204 PV 1.2. And I'm reading the electronic welding assembly tutorials. Um, this seems pretty straightforward. It looks like you're basically going with the same, um, the same ways you would with most of these kits. Go off, start with the smallest things first. Um, So you don't give yourself problems, you know. By trying to put the small things on once you'd already put the big things on the board, leaving yourself a rep less room, put the smallest things on first. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just allowing the the iron to heat up. It says it's ready now. And I'm gonna start with these um, 47 ohms. 47 ohm resistors. Bah, bah, bah. Let's get to the middle of this. Okay, so R5, R11, R13, 15, 17, 19, 25, 27, 30. 30. Okay, let's go look for those. So there's the tape for it. Uh, as per usual with these, I'm not going to put anybody through the laborious task of washing me. One trying to fish these things out, and like all these because the the pack the tapes are not open. I'm just going to put them out to one side just to get them out of there, just to make it a little bit easier for me. Um, and then I don't know if you can see them in the bottom there. 
it's not wrong up too much, but there they are. Little tiny. Unbelievable how small these are. It's great, but it's just unbelievable how small they are. So, put this down into position. Uh, okay, so let's start with the uh, R5. Then. Let's find R5 to start off with. Um, got R6 straight away, but I don't know where R5 is. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to start looking at the others. There we go, R13, R11. Here we process a little bit of Now, I don't know where to put paste that I'll put this on. Use the pencil. I suppose for ease, it's the pencil. Because even though you know, this is showing us completely covering this area with flux it's not uh oh, no mind I'll just go and see what happens. Let's see if I can do this like a machine. Oh let's turn on the second thing. Safety first and all that. Um, so I'll use my toe to switch it on and leave the desk in. Let's go with our first. I'm not going to be a stickler and try and put all these on the correct way around. I, um, I'm just going to be happy if I can just get them on a reasonable fashion. Very hard trying to look through the lens to get that to touch that. I'm gonna do it with my eye. Oh, and that's not working much better either. Oh, that's helpful. Yep, that's fun, isn't it? I can't actually see the end of it, so. Some days my eyes work, some days my eyes don't work so well. Oh, with the shakes on the go. And I think the trick with this is to, uh, well maybe I could just go around putting all one part on first. Yeah, that could save quite a bit of time and effort. Yeah, it can save a lot of time and effort. If I just do one side first, just tack it into place, and then um, it just means I've already got to turn it around, you know, the once. And I'm hoping that's going to make speed the process up a little bit. it is quite easy to be quite neat with these. I'm saying that. Maybe I shouldn't say it like that. <laughs> so, I'll start going off all over the place. Oh, like now. <laughs> I've been quite scared to do this little kit because it was the first one that I bought and I didn't realise that it was a um, surface mount. And that was the same as the DSO uh, 138. 
I didn't realise that was surface mount either. Now there's a bit too much solder on there, so it's actually gone onto another pad, but I'm going to worry about that when I come to put a 10k resistor on it. I'm not going to get into faffing with it now, I'm just going to get these 470 ohms. Oops, I dropped that one. So we can flip it over. Oops. Oh, this is, there we go. Let's, uh, let's hope this one's not trying to escape. Um, 19, 25, 27, 30, 15, 13, 11, 5. So I'm just going to put those numbers into my head again. Right, I'm trying to place it now with my left hand. Oh, didn't do too bad. And this time I'm not going to put so much solder on the, on the iron. Little tiny bit, little tiny bit of solder. Well, you know, it's still not the neatest. I've still got plenty to learn figure this out but I don't have you know all the best equipment to do the best job um, where'd that go <laughs> I looked at the screen so I could see uh, see the numbers again I made a video the other night of my like, little workspace and I've used um, the videos from Dave Jones and, and others to try and work out how to set up a little workbench, a you know, hobbyist workbench, I'm not a professional, I'm not a, I'm not a professional doing any of this, just a hobby hobbyist um, and my real goals are um, that I want to have some employment that I can have from home that will earn me enough money to live on a boat I want to live on a boat I really do like the idea of living on a boat um, and that is what I'd really like to do but in order for me to do that I've got to be able to have enough money to live now these I can't find R5. Gotta be around here somewhere. R5, R5, R5. Come on, where are you? Oh, okay. It's sort of disguised right by R6 now. I suppose a lot of people will be able to just see that straight away, but in actual fact, I think I did see it before I started doing this. Yeah, so that's what I want to be able to do. Now, I know that once I'm on a boat, it doesn't really cost that much for living. It's not like having a house, and um, and I do like the solitude. Some people don't, some people do. I like the solitude. It is good, you know, to... to go and chat to other humans from time to time um, and I agree with that but I do like the idea of having more of an adventure of life life to me isn't really much of an adventure if you're just doing the same thing day in and day out 
same place of work, you know, whatever. Um, and to me it doesn't seem to be that much of an adventure. If I were to have a, a narrow boat and live on the rivers and canals in my narrow boat, to me every day would be an adventure because that's the sort of environment where the weather plays a crucial part on how you live your day. And I really quite like the idea of having that. I mean, at the minute, you know, apart from paying the bills um, and just a little general sort of maintenance where I live, there's not a great deal to live in where I live. I rent where I live, I, don't, I haven't bought where I live. I rent and I'd like to be able to buy a boat so I don't have to rent. Because um, I just think it's just throwing, you know, good money after bad type of thing. Well, I shouldn't say, I mean, it's, it's, you've got to be able to give somebody money for somewhere to live. But I pay quite a lot of money where I live. And I know that I can live with that money and not much more quite comfortably on a boat. I'm, um, I'm getting into the later years of my life now. So I don't intend on doing any more family type things, multiplying or anything like that. I've done that, thank you. I have two daughters, both are doing very well um, and happy. Well, you know, it's life's difficult sometimes for everybody, so happiness is something you can perceive a little bit more to whether it is actually reality or not but yeah they're sort of happy and that's good that makes me happy uh, where's our 13? I own 12 where's 13? so yeah so that's the reason why I decided to get into something that I could do that was going to be an actual benefit to myself and to others. I wanted it to be something that I had a, you know, into your skin and stuff. Just goes onto the, um, excuse me, goes onto the strings and doubles them out. And, well, it's not the not the greatest combination. Uh, Twenty-seven is there. Not the greatest combination. Uh, oil and guitar strings. As anybody that plays a guitar will tell you now, I'm not great at playing a guitar. I can strum a few tunes out. Um, whether anybody would recognise them from what they sound like in my head. So, <laughs> so what it actually sounds like coming out of the guitar. And to be fair, I haven't really gone into playing for quite a while. And that, can, that buggers up your fingers, because your fingers when you play the guitar, it sort of get toughened up. Uh, and it blooming hurts to start playing again, especially you got to get through the pain barrier. I am doing the right ones, aren't I? Yay! <laughs> okay, I've got... There's five left in there. I can't mark it off because it's on the computer screen. I didn't print these. Uh, didn't print these out. And if they sent, if they sent to me, I didn't have them. But these do look like they're in a nearly sort of order. So I'm just got R five there. I need R eleven. Thirteen, fifteen, thirteen's done, fifteen's done, seventeen's done, nineteen's done, twenty-five. Thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-five. So twenty-seven and thirty, twenty-seven's done. So I just gotta find thirty and eleven. 
Uh, hmm. Hiding about the place somewhere. Just check all that again. Oh, and 30. Oh, 30. I've done 30. 30 is done there, so I just need to do 11. Oh, no. Okay, let's try this again then. R5, R11, R13, R15, R5, R11, R13, R15, 17, 19, 25, 27, 30. 17, 19, 25, 27, 30. Okay, they're all done. Woohoo! I ain't said too long. Out of my life. Uh, right. So are all the other ones spare now? So have I got a whole bunch of... Let's just have a little look down the page. Um, yeah. 47, R7, R8, R9, R10. Okay, that's on the other side. R7, yeah, okay. R7, 8, 9. Okay, well I know we're, we're three of them now, so we'll get those done. Oh, it's much better having this. Um, the other day when I was doing the, the little DSO 138, I, I, I tipped about four or five onto the side here. And with my first movement of turning it around, putting one on, going back, I couldn't find any of them. <laughs> so I told myself then, come on, you got to stop. Uh, You can't, you can't just have them loose. They've got to be in something. Uh, and so that's why the little tray. One of my friends asked me about like, living on a boat and would I, uh, would it bother me about the enclosed space? You know, because they're not very big. But I don't know if it would bother me too much. I think what will bother me more is the ability to be able to shower and use the, you know, basically use the bathroom. I must remember I've got to go around all the other sides of these that I haven't I'm not actually finished just because. Um, and so there is that part. Keeping clean. I mean, if you don't have enough water, you can always have a horse bath, can't you? Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a great believer in baby wipes anyway. Those, uh, those unscented, pure baby wipes. Uh, they come in great. Keep them in the glove box of your car or something, you know, so... If you're out there and you do decide to eat some sort of dodgy fast food restaurant place, and another concern with living on a boat is I get loads of components sent to me. Um, I mean, okay, not loads, but enough for me to. Uh, so I can get on and do some stuff, you know, in kit form or I've been reading a lot more now um, on little circuits and I'm going to start building up various Wi-Fi 5, 5 time circuits um, for doing all sorts of things. Yeah, that's a little bit messy, but, but you know, my, my soldering on this isn't very good for some reason the solder seems to be dragging upwards a little bit and I presume I don't know is that because I've not got it on hot enough or something I don't know maybe I should uh, try some experiments but I do know that when I have got it on hotter uh, I7 R8 19 I um it sort of it you know knackers up the end of it and by that mean, I just mean it gets dirty, it sort of like burns the flux or whatever it is and it's just a bit more dirty and then you've got to spend a lot more time cleaning the damn thing. 
and even though I tin it at the end of what I'm using it or if I leave it for any period of time I always just put a little bit of solder on the end like that um, and then turn the temperature down to 150 if I need it you know on but I don't just need it on constant on the high heat It's still, it's, it's still like pulling up like a like a man uh, like a meringue, you know, lemon meringue pie, and you and you whip it up, and the meringue sticks up like a bit of a mountain. That's what's happening here. Eight, seven, eight, nine. Where's ten? Where's ten? Then I've only got ah, oh, there it is. Then I've only got one one of these left after that. I need to get myself a little tray now because these of course are quite important to have these I can't just throw it out thinking oh well it's so small I wouldn't throw out one of my other resistors even though I just found a resistor on the floor you know um, and I've got two lots of resistors I've got the metal metal film jobbies metalized film jobbies and I've got to see up the carbons uh, a whole bunch and I wouldn't just because I see one lying around I wouldn't throw it out I'd figure out which one it is and put it in the appropriate place <laughs> a bit tight like that I suppose yeah so it is nice clean iron and just a smidgen of solder does the job. Oh, even though that could probably do with a bit more solder. Oh, it's a bit funny sometimes the way the light hits it. But anyway, now I've got to go around and do all the. I've done all the right sides, so I've got to do all the left sides now. But at least I won't need that anymore. I can just, uh, just dab a bit of solder and just go. Hopefully, this is the way it's going to work out. I can just dab a bit of solder, a little tiny bit of solder on the end. And that's it. And this will be a nice. I've got to do all the right sides of it, so. I can't tell which bits I've done. These are the right sides. Well, I'm not trying to get any awards for my for my SMD side of work. I don't actually think I'd try and get any awards for any of my side of work. So if anybody was wondering, this is why it's a good idea to, um, oh, oh, I can see better now. Oh, I don't know what I was going to say then, it's a good idea to... But it was a good idea just to go around doing the one side because I could have faffed around with this. Oh, that's a yeah, good idea to speed up this process, you know, do time lapse video rather than actually have me uh, jibbing on. Because although I'm keeping myself entertained, <laughs> it can't really be good. I got, there's nothing I can tell you about this clock that I haven't already said. It's got temperature control on it. Right? 
Gotta make sure I don't miss any of these. Even though it looks like we got them all. Yay. Oh, that's what, that's, oh my life, that's 30 minutes. So that has taken quite a bit of time. So I think I will, um, I will fast forward through these. But I'm going to make a cup of tea now. So I will talk to you in a minute.